about an hour ago, Malia and the girls go live and they wanted to share that they were giving away books um, for all the support that they have been given for their husband. And uh, they want to also let us know that he published both of these books in jail. They also wanted to remind us that we need to not forget to donate to uh, their husband's legal fees. That's when I almost fell on the floor. I also fell on the floor because I'm not understanding why Efru's back in carbonation. Because I know at this time they don't have any money that they can afford for Efru to take trips to go see her granny. Unless Efru went to see her granny because she was begging for money. And Efru came back to carbonation because she came back with money. I don't know what the situation is, but I don't know why they're hollering and screaming and begging for donations for their husband's legal fees when we all know that when Nature Boy went back to court, he was appointed a court-appointed lawyer. Now, why they're still making up these stories, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these girls. They're worse. They're worse than Nature Boy. I think that because they've been hanging around the barbershop too long. They Our husband has now authored two books while he's been incarcerated. How did Zero Become One? And the Divine Knowledge Yourself Study Guide. These are some amazing books that will get you in tune with Divine Knowledge Yourself. Please get your copy. And don't forget to donate and support with our husband's legal fees. And also, free the three, and I love myself. Peace to the God. Gotten a haircut. I don't know why they're telling us because we're not fools that he needs money for a court appointed lawyer because court appointed lawyers are free. Now, I'm not quite understanding why they're even still there. Malia, I'm going to get on you first. This man sent you back home because you were sick. He did not want blood on his hands like what happened to Mama Dia. He sent you back home to your family. Your sister drove you to the hospital because she could smell something wasn't right with you. The CDC came in because you had an STD that wasn't even recorded in the books. They got you better. But as soon as Nature Boy heard from your mouth, Malia, that Velvet came to see you and they were trying to talk you into leaving Nature Boy, now you want her back just to get back at Velvet, even though Velvet's living her best life. The man left you for dead. This man is using these women for canteen money so he can store up money. So if he does a bid, if they leave, he can live off these funds for the sentence, the duration of the sentence that they're probably going to give him. Because Nature Boy is not being a man right now and telling these women that he's going to do a bid. He's using them until the milk runs dry. And it's really crazy. There's a video coming up. You may have already saw it already on my channel. I can't believe that Efru even came back to Carbonation when she had the opportunity to even stay with any of her family members. I heard the Trey 963, a.k.a. Mama Nine's video. I was very unaware that Nature Boy was even being physical with Efru. I knew he was verbally abusive to Efru. I did not know he was physical with Efru. I thought that he was mainly putting his hands on Malia. But Mama Nine told it all in that rap. A lot of people talk about what happened over in Carbonation. Mama Nine says it in her music. I'm not totally understanding why women in general stay with men that are abusive and controlling like Nature Boy and they endure all of what they endure and they still sit in that situation. We already know 
that Nature Boy was showing us only a percentage of what was happening behind closed doors. And I've been said that. Now, it was the worst of the worst what we saw. It wasn't normal. It's not what's going on in your house or my house. But you could only imagine what they were going through behind closed doors from what we saw publicly. These girls are the same girls that used to line up according to Solar and wait to get hit upside the head because Nature Boy mastered seizing them up. So they would get punched in the head one by one, one waiting patiently to get hit in the head. These are the same women that are here trying to get donations for legal fees that don't exist. Nature Boy has a court-appointed lawyer. Why are you up here talking about legal fees? Now, if you're hungry or if you're trying to get your rent paid, you got to go online, fill out an application, and get a job. This has got to stop. It's getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. You're at rock bottom. Nature Boy gets three square meals a day. Whether the food's good or not, he has a bed. You guys are going to be living in the tent come the winter time. The word homelessness gives me anxiety. And it gives me anxiety because that ain't no situation no one should be put in. But Nature Boy puts you in that situation, and you're not seeing it for what it is. And this is what the crazy part is. And I don't understand what they're not getting. You can't figure out why the men left. The men left before the women. So you know the situation was toxic. Why haven't the women left? What are they waiting around for? Nature Boy is making the charges that are already seemingly sticking even worse because now he went to jail and he's manipulating a whole unit of prisoners. He's letting the court system know he is a threat. That he's a threat to society, to himself, to his peers. He's letting the court system know that he's guilty of all charges by his actions of what he's doing in jail now. Nature Boy just can't sit down and just be quiet and just see this play out. He already digged this hole. Now he's jumping in it. These women have got to get out of this reprogramming and brainwash because it's not healthy. They got to know. But I guess if you're not sitting with yourself, you're still, you know, in denial because, you know, who sits around when you can already figure out the court system is not trying to let Nature Boy go. He's a threat to society. He should not be walking around the streets. They already seen all of his disciples just about leave. All the men, except for the women. That is a clear sign to the system that he's a threat. Why would these men be leaving if he wasn't a threat? If he was such this good guy? Mama Nine, shout out to you because you really brought to light a lot of stuff that we already knew. And you sung it in your rap song. It didn't matter if you spoke it or you rapped it. But you gave us a clear picture of what's going on and how serious of brainwash and manipulation and messed up these girls are. And that they're crying out for help. And they're not going to get the help that they need sitting here with a smile on their face, begging for money, talking about legal fees. And I'm going to say it again, when we know that Nature Boy has a court-appointed lawyer. And court-appointed lawyers are free. Why are you begging for a court-appointed lawyer when Nature Boy's lawyer is free? I'm not understanding that. People are not giving you people no money for no donations. You are not anyone to take advice from. You're someone to stay far away from. You're just as dangerous as Nature Boy because you've been hanging around that barbershop too long 
and you picked up too many of his traits. You are convinced this man is getting out. And I'm convinced at this point, and I just came back about 40 something days later, Nature Boy, they're going to sit him down. He's not just going to walk away with a light sentence. He's done too much over the years. He's incriminated himself too much with recording what he was doing. And they're going to take him down. 